Well, if my body feels the way it does right now, tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know how much work I'm going to get done. This is a 1989 camper that I was supposed to buy, or that was the plan. Um, I heard drip, <laughs> drip, 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 and uh, I was like, oh no, don't tell me I have a water leak. Now I'm supposed to be buying this from, kind of like from the guy that owns this resort or something um, and one of the other guys that works here and um, it started out being 5,000 so I was like okay well I I think that's fair um, and then they, <laughs> they went to 66 after I said that I wanted it um, and I went ahead and <laughs> said okay and they're making let me uh, make payments on it and that was a cool thing um but i looked i was i was like what is the drip oh let me show you this place i was like what is this drip i hope it's not a water leak because there's a leak in this door um and there's a leak in the back window and i was like i hope there's not a plumbing leak too um and i didn't know about these leaks prior to but anyways i got climbed underneath the, the camper fortunately is just a, 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 a drips from a condensation hose from the refrigerator. Uh, so, anyways, it's, it's, it's a neat thing. I'm gonna miss it very much. So, my life has been a series of <laughs> letdowns, um, and just plain old deprivation <laughs> but anyways uh, so but anyway at the time I was under the urn um, I had noticed that earlier that day there's this long jack handle like from one of these those jacks that you go like this there's a really long one so I thought oh man maybe there's maybe there's leveling jacks mounted underneath this thing and I can get it um, perfectly level and so I was since I was under there anyways, I started looking around and I noticed the drive shaft <laughs> was missing. I was like, well, I know I didn't drive it and park it in this spot without the drive shaft on it because I couldn't have got it there. Found out that the guy that I'm buying from and the guy that I guess owns this place um, decided that while I was at work or going to the store or something that they were going to crawl into here take the drive shaft off um, and not say anything to me about it. And when I found out about it, when I looked at it, I was like, what in the heck? And he said, and the guy says, well, I, yeah, I don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow or what. So what they did is they took the drive shaft off because they didn't trust me that if this place became horrible or unbearable, which uh, that... They, they didn't want me driving off with that, even though I got my car and my 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 old camper, which I'm not thrilled about having to move in back into. But I guess that's what I'm going to have to do because I'm not going to buy something from somebody. I mean, they got the drive shaft now, so I don't because they're so because they don't trust me. I I feel like oh well, what <laughs> my dad told me once. He says if people aren't don't trust you and uh, that it's um, it's usually because they're not trustworthy themselves and so I don't know I could pay this thing off and they could say oh by the way we got a drive shaft for a thousand bucks or you know whatever they could do whatever so I don't know anyways uh, so <laughs> I gotta move back into my now look what I gotta move back into this. And it's about to be winter time again when they sent me off on this expedition or journey or whatever. <laughs> they did it in the middle of the winter time and what did I have to, to, to be able to survive 
the winter, the winter, this pop-up camper. <laughs> now I did a bunch of work to the inside of it and I started to do some stuff on the outside. Then I let a guy use it for free when they were making me pay for the other one because I was trying to help this place and the guy and neither one of them were very thankful about it but anyways <laughs> um i will say they did give me a raise um because they said i've been doing a good job but i get my compliments about doing a, uh, a good job people that actually pay me now my boss would say well i'm the guy that pays you so my compliments are most important. But he's not the guy that pays me. He's just the guy that writes the checks. The paychecks. The people that pay me are all these folks. And I get compliments from them every day. We love your touch around this place, Sandy. Wow, it's, this place looks so much different than it did. And earlier, today, I am sure gonna miss this. <laughs> so anyways, earlier today, I was here on the ball field. I put a lot of work and a lot of love into this. Because this is where I make, this, this is where I make heaven the most. You should see this place on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. <laughs> I, Friday's my favorite day to mow because it, um, after I mow, it, of course, you get that fresh mowed uh, and then all the people start coming out here. And since I want to make heaven, <laughs> you look at all the people out here and it looks like heaven. I feel like, hey, look, you did it. <laughs> but anyways, so the, the, some people were here. They were coming down from there, right up there. And they were saying, uh, wow, you know, this place really looks better than it has in years <laughs> and then the guy emphasized he goes in years it hasn't ever looked this good <laughs> so <laughs> that was kind of a nice thing and actually just on my way here right now I got one two three compliments <laughs> just on the short little walk here the guy said hey Danny how you doing now that might not seem like a compliment but it is because they know that Sandy is the guy that makes this place beautiful. <laughs> and then some ladies were walking in. They go, we sure do like all the stuff you've been doing around here. And all the flowers around the lodge. And the flowers and the grass is green. And all the different little things <laughs> they do. And um, anyways. Um, this kind of <laughs> this is kind of sad to admit this. I am wore out. Um, I guess they decided today. The reason this place is, is better looking than it's, it's ever been is because um, I've been managing my time, you know. I, even if they say, you know, we want you to do this particular thing, like weeding eating is the thing they always ask. Um, I manage that as part of my days, and I usually do about like two hours of weed eating. I try not to um, do more than that, first of all, because it's... You know, weed eating is not um, my favorite activity in the world. And carrying that thing, you know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, like standing out in the wind all day long. It, it wears you out. Uh, but today, um, I guess they decided that um, uh, in spite of everything, um, that suddenly I don't, I guess I don't know how to manage my own time. And so they came up to me with uh, Mike, the maintenance manager, and um, the guy that's been um, working with me come up to me with a list of things to, to weed eat and stuff. This is after that um, I've talked to him about this, this issue with the drive shaft and um, nothing. 
the, the, the nobody brought the trash out. So I guess they feel like they're just going to keep the drive shaft, and so they're going to keep the camper too, because I'm not going to buy it. But um, in spite of in spite of everything right here, I made this sign. <laughs> I made this. I did all of this, <laughs> and uh, there's so many different things around here. But and uh, things I don't want to do. I've, I've been waiting to build a, a dog park, a jelly kind of thing over there for you know a while, and I wanted to do one over there, and it went cost much and it's very easy to get the stuff to do it but they just feel like I guess instead of doing that let's wear Sandy out today by having him weed eat all day long um, because he doesn't know how to manage his time even though this place looks better than it's looked in years so uh, so my my only option, and I told him the other day, I said, you know, I said, I want a, I want a work agreement, um, and I want the axle back, and I want somebody to help me level the, the camper. And that's, and those weren't requests. That's what I have to have to stay here. And none of that has been met. So, um, September 1st is my last day here. Because I can't be here when it gets really cold because I'm just have a pop-up camper and they lost all my vision and today they really today they they just I, I don't know what's the best way to say it they zapped it because they took all my <laughs> they took they they took the the they took the love out of it and um, yeah so if they wanted somebody to just kiss their butt, it was I was the wrong guy to hire because I've been doing that all my life and I'm done doing that. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, oh, and some other people were talking about there's a there's a field over there. And they said, you know, when we got here in May, it was just it was all brown. And you got here in June, and uh, by mid by mid June, <laughs> it's all green. I made the I've made this kind of stuff. I mean, when I get done at work, I'm not done. I start watching YouTube videos, how to do this, how to do this, reviews of other RV parks and things like that. And I listen to my guest here when they say things that they like and enjoy and wish they had i actually listen to them why because the guests are the ones that pay us now i wish we lived in a world that was like heaven that's why i'm here building this i want people to at least think wow this looks like heaven um anyways Look at these neat planters that I built. Uh, oh, and I built these these cornhole boards with some help. And, uh, two of the guys that work here. I said, "Hey, we need to have something for people to do. <laughs> Let's make some of these." <laughs> so we made those, and I went and got some uh, bean bags. Actually made that. I made I made some big ones that would go up the front too. But anyway, and the other day with some help of um, one of the, the, the major owners kids, um, I made two. Well, we cut all the wood for two seven foot planter boxes like this. And uh, my first thought was to put them there, but now I'm starting to think. You should put them up by the front. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, and I painted those signs, and I painted uh, 
that one up there. And I put that one up there by myself. That was <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's video.